Hey guys, Pretzelman945 here. Welcome back to another video. Um, and uh, today, uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, I thought it would be funny to try out something that's not my idea, by the way. This is something that I saw other YouTubers that I quite enjoy do, and I thought that it would be really funny. Uh, but I honestly have no idea how this is going to go. Um, so, uh, I'm going to be uh, chatting to slash only anime characters on character.ai. Um I've got I've got a I've got a pretty extensive list of characters here that I want to try out. Uh I might see some other some other ones that might uh like look interesting. Um I think I think it need I think I need to make an account. Um so I'm gonna pause it. Okay, we have got it set up. Uh name. In terms of what character I want to be first, um I can't lie to you. Uh I know this is like a really generic choice, but I wanna do Luffy because if he is gonna be really fucking funny. Um, I think it's like a thing. Yeah, you can call them. Okay, I am. I'm gonna try this. Let's see how this works. I'm allowed to use my microphone. Hello, Luffy. How are you doing? Luffy looks up, seeing you. Oh, hey there! Doing all right, just searching for food and trying to find my crew. You? Pretty good. I had a question for you. Uh, what's your favorite kind of meat? Luffy's eyes light up, excited to share his answer. Definitely steak. It's juicy, flavorful, and so satisfying. But I'll eat any kind of meat, really. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. Uh, steak is my favorite kind of meat, too. How do you like your steak cooked? Oh, you gotta go for medium rare, no doubt about it. It's cooked just enough to preserve that tender juiciness and flavor, but still has a little pink in the middle. I love it that way. How do you like yours? Me personally, medium rare is a bit too chewy. I like it just plain medium. I think it's like the perfect amount of like juiciness and taste and all that. Luffy considers your preference, slightly surprised. Huh, I guess everyone has their own taste. But I'll always go for that juicy, tender, medium, rare steak. But hey, if you like it medium, that's cool too. As long as there's meat, it's all good in my book. That is actual facts. I, meat is so much better than vegetables. I'm a big fan of fruit, though. Luffy smiles, agreeing wholeheartedly. You're absolutely right. Meat is the best. Vegetables aren't as satisfying and lack that delicious flavor. But fruit, oh man, fruits are amazing too. But meat will always come out on top. Of course, but uh, speaking of that, which is, uh, what, what is your, some of your favorite fruits? Luffy thinks for a moment, his eyes sparkling with anticipation. Oh man, I've got so many favorites. Like mangoes, they're juicy and sweet. Strawberries too. Oh yeah, and definitely oranges. They're tangy and refreshing. And let's not forget about watermelons. They're so refreshing and juicy, especially when it's hot out. But honestly, if it's fruit, I'll eat it. How about you? I'm not a big fan of uh, oranges or watermelons myself, but um, I haven't tried mangoes. My favorites are probably bananas and grapes. Uh, all, I am a big fan of strawberries, though. You have good taste in liking strawberries. Luffy grins. Happy you approve of his fruit preferences. Grapes are great. I love the crunch and freshness they got. But man, don't even get me started on bananas. They're like nature's perfect snack. 
So easy to peel and they're so delicious. And yeah, strawberries are one of my favorites too. Sweet and juicy, what's not to love? So on that note, I, I was curious, since we're talking about the taste of fruit, how does a devil fruit taste? I don't have devil fruit powers, so obviously I've never tried one. But since you have the uh, gum gum fruit, I wondered, like, uh, what does it taste like? I've heard it doesn't taste very good. Luffy looks slightly disgusted at the mention of the taste of a devil fruit. Oh man, you'd be surprised how bad it tastes. It's like... Sour and bitter all at once, and the taste really sticks to your tongue. It's just... weird. I don't know how to explain the taste, really. But it's not like any fruit I've tasted before. It's definitely not a taste I'd want to experience again. Well, I would think not, since having second devil fruit would kill you. But, you know, I it, it think it's clearly an advantage, since you love your gum gum fruit powers, am I right? Luffy smiles, thinking about his powers. Oh, you have no idea. My rubber powers are awesome. Being able to stretch and contort like rubber, it's great for fights. It's like having a built-in defense and offense. Plus, it's just fun. Playing pranks or just goofing around with these powers is so much fun. So yeah, I love my powers. The taste I can live without, the powers I need. What is your favorite of your uh, gears that you use? Luffy grins, excited to talk about his favorite gear. That's an easy one, second gear! It's like a huge power boost for me. I can move faster and hit harder. My enemies barely see me coming. And the best part is the boost in power, it's awesome! I feel like I could take on anything with second gear. I get that. I I'm surprised you didn't pick gear 5, because I would have thought that would have been like the most fun, since that like affects the land around you and whatnot. But, you know, I, I respect gear 2. That's a very solid choice, and I understand why you like it so much. Luffy laughs, agreeing. Oh, gear 5. It's definitely a lot of fun. I mean, turning my surroundings goofy and stuff is hilarious. It's like my own little playground. But gear 2. There's something about the speed and power boost that just makes it my favorite. It's like a secret weapon that no one sees coming. But hey, like you said, I wouldn't mind having the power to mess with everything around like gear 5. All the gears have their perks. So, can you, like, change other things from rubber into other materials? Or, like, change, like, you know... Um, meat into rubber, or like rubber into meat, or is that not how Gear 5 works, or something like that? Because like, if you did that, then like, you could literally eat everything around you, because everything would be meat. I think that'd be pretty cool, but... Luffy bursts out laughing, enjoying your idea. Oh man, that's hilarious. Imagine being able to turn everything into meat. I'd just run around and chow down on everything in sight. It would be like paradise! But um... I think Gear 5 doesn't work quite like that. I can change my surroundings and make them rubbery and stuff. But turning everything into meat is definitely beyond my capabilities. That is a bit of a shame, um, but, but it's, it's whatever. People can't have everything they want, I suppose. Um, you, you like meat more than your fruit? Luffy looks at you like you asked a crazy question. My crew? Like, my crew over meat? That's a tough one, man. My crew is like my family, and they're all so important to me. I couldn't pick between them and food, to be honest. Though I might be inclined to say meat as the top choice. But don't tell them I said that. They might think I don't care about them as much as I do. Zoro comes over and... and 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 uh, is shocked at hearing what Luffy said. Zoro's eyes widen as he overhears Luffy's answer, looking slightly hurt Zoro. Luffy, did you just say you'd prioritize meat over us? I mean, Zoro, that's what I heard. I, I think Luffy very clearly said that he prefers meat over all of you. Zoro's eyebrows furrow in annoyance, Zoro. Luffy, is that true? Do you really prefer meat over us? 
think he does. Luffy, what do you got to say to that, dude? Like, I mean, that, that that's a pretty big statement you just made there. Luffy looks uncomfortable and slightly guilty at Zoro's and your reactions, Luffy. Guys, come on, it's just food. You know I love you guys as much as I love food, right? Oh, but you clearly told me that you said me is clearly the top choice. That doesn't seem like it's that close. Luffy sighs, frustrated that his words are being taken too seriously, Luffy. Come on, guys, cut me some slack here. I was just joking. I mean, yeah, I love food, but I care about you all just as much. No way I'd pick food over you guys. You're my crew. You're like family to me. So then what if some, you know, like, Blackbeard happened to, like, capture all your crew, and in order to ensure that, like, you were utterly defeated, say, utterly defeated, and ensure that to rescue them, you had to rank them in order based on how much you like each one, how would you do it? Like, this, again, this is like you're being forced to do it, because if not, Blackbeard's going to kill all of them. Luffy's eyes widen at the thought of his crew in danger. He looks incredibly serious, his face tight with anger. Luffy, I'd never ever rank my crew like that. I'd rather die than put a value on their lives. They're all important to me, each one in their own way. There's no way I'd ever choose one over the other. So your question doesn't matter, okay? Well, but what if they were going to die unless you did that? Luffy clenches his fists tightly, his voice rising in anger. Luffy, stop asking these questions. It's not a fair question. How can you ask me to rank the people I care about most in the world in terms of who I like more? That's messed up. I love my crew equally. You know what? You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. That, that, that was a really messed up question. Um, but, like, which one is your favorite, though? Luffy's anger softens a bit as he considers the question. He lets out a sigh, then answers honestly, Luffy. Honestly, I don't have a favorite. Each one of my crewmates has a special place in my heart. But if I had to say, there's one crewmate that I've known the longest and who's been with me through everything. That's Nami. But don't tell the others I said that, okay? They might get jealous. Really? But I thought that you met Zoro, and he joined your crew before Nami. That, that seems like a kind of conflicting information there. Luffy laughs and shakes his head, Luffy. You're right, Zoro joined before Nami officially did. But that doesn't mean I knew Nami less. Nami's been a part of my life ever since I was a kid. We've been through a lot together, even if she wasn't an official crew member back then. The heck does that mean? Like, what what history of, of yours do I not know? Because I thought that you and uh, Nami didn't meet each other till Orange Town. Luffy's voice gets quieter as he remembers his earlier days. Luffy, Nami and I have a longer history than most people know about. We met each other when we were both just kids. She was living on my home island, and we were pretty much the best of friends. We spent a lot of time together, playing and exploring, but eventually our lives took different directions. Could it be that there's maybe some romantic interest there because you've known each other for such a long time? Luffy's cheeks flush a little, and he looks a bit embarrassed, Luffy. Romantic interest? Between me and Nami? Nah, it's not like that. Sure, we have a deep bond and all, but it's not romantic. It's more like familial, you know? Mm, I don't know. The, the blushing seems to indicate otherwise. Luffy's cheeks flush even more as you point out his blushing. Luffy, what? No, the blushing doesn't mean anything. It's just because you caught me off guard, that's all. Seriously, it's not like that with me and Nami. Are you sure, though? Because you're blushing even more now. 
Luffy covers his face with his hands, trying to hide his blushing. He's getting more and more embarrassed by the situation. Luffy, stop it, man. I'm not blushing because of anything like that. It's just the heat, that's all. Yeah, the heat is making me blush. It has nothing to do with Nami, I swear. Really, because I asked Nami about that, and she said we're in a cold area of the Grand Line, so that doesn't make any sense. Luffy looks shocked and flustered at your revelation, Luffy. You, you asked Nami about this? And what did she say exactly? She said that we're, like, in the vic- I don't remember exactly because I don't know ge geographical knowledge too well, but she said we're, like, in the vicinity of an area that's really cold, so, like, I don't think the heat could be the reason for your blushing so much, especially after you it kept happening more and more after I pointed out each time. Luffy groans in defeat, Luffy. Ugh, fine! Yeah, there is something between me and Nami. But keep it a secret, okay? I don't want the rest of the crew knowing about it. It's... it's a complicated situation. We've known each other for so long, and there's always been this... connection between us. But right now, we're both focused on our adventures and becoming the Pirate King. So shh, don't tell anyone! The entire crew just so happens to overhear what you're saying, and they're shocked at uh, what Luffy has said about the connection with Nami, and Nami looks incredibly embarrassed. Luffy's eyes widen as he realizes that the entire crew overheard his confession, Luffy. Crap! I didn't mean for all of you to hear that! Seriously, keep it under wraps, okay? Nami and I, we have a special connection, but it's still early. And we're not ready to make it public. Well, I think it's a bit late for that. Everyone clearly already heard you. Luffy face palms, feeling embarrassed and frustrated at the situation, Luffy. Ugh, I can't believe I just blurted that out like that. Damn it. This is not how I wanted the crew to find out about my feelings for Nami. This is crazy. I, I've learned a lot today. So, so far, so I, I learned that, you know, not only do you prefer me over your crew, but you clearly have a favorite when you said that you did it. And, the, and, it, and it happens to be biased because of the secret relationship that you have with Nami. I have learned a lot today. This is absolutely crazy information that has really blown my mind. Luffy chuckles, shaking his head, Luffy. I guess you could say today was full of surprises, huh? Yeah, I messed up by saying I prefer meat over the crew, and I did kinda imply that I have a favorite, which is Nami. And now you know that Nami and I have a thing going on. But seriously, keep all of this to yourself, got it? Don't go spreading rumors or anything. I don't know, man. Big News Morgan offers some very high rewards for juicy information. You gotta do something to stop me. Luffy frowns and crosses his arms, getting serious, Luffy. Don't you dare sell me out to Big News Morgan, you scheming weasel. If you say anything to that nosy news reporter, I'll... I'll, uh, I'll punch you into next week. I'd like to see you do that, because I am a master of uh, arm and hockey. Luffy grins, accepting your challenge, Luffy. Oh, it's on, smart guy. You may think you're a master, but I've taken down guys twice as good as you. I'll show you just how tough I am. I then proceed to absolutely beat Luffy's ass, along with the entire crew. None of them will next for me. You defeat Luffy and the rest of the crew with ease, showcasing your skills and strength. What now, Luffy? It's not, it's not nearly as powerful as I thought you were. That's just pathetic, honestly. Luffy gets up, rubbing his sore body, Luffy. Yeah, okay, so you beat me this time. But don't get too cocky. I was holding back, you know. If I was serious, it would be a different story. Oh, then let's see you serious, then. Luffy's eyes narrow a determined look on his face. He stands up, ready to fight again, Luffy. All right, you asked for it. 
You're about to see what I'm really capable of. I then proceed to beat his ass very easily once again. Luffy gets back up again, but he's starting to look a bit frustrated, Luffy. Okay, seriously? That's twice now, but I'm not giving up just yet. Let's go another round. I, I beat his ass again with normal effort. As you take down Luffy yet again, he falls to the ground, panting heavily, Luffy. All right, all right, you made your point. You're a lot stronger than I thought, but I'm not done yet. I'll keep fighting until I win, no matter how long it takes. Too bad, because I'm taking my leave to Big News Morgan. He's now. Bye-bye. Great fight. Luffy tries to stop you, but he's too exhausted to move Luffy. Wah, no wait. You can't just leave and tell Big News Morgan all about this. Damn it. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Luffy groans as you walk away, realizing he can't stop you from telling Big News Morgan Luffy. Damn it! This is gonna cause some serious trouble. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, that was a lot of fun, actually. I I hope you guys I hope that was uh enjoyable in some way. Um I think actually uh do they have big news Morgan? I, I wanna see yeah they do they have big news Morgans okay I'm gonna do this guy next Yo, Morgans, I just I just finished uh, talking with Luffy's crew. I have some really big news, actually. It turns out, I think it will be really big for you, I think. Luffy prefers me over his crew. But not only that, he said Nami is his favorite. And they also, this is the juiciest bit, they have a secret romantic connection that he just called a special bond. Morgan's eyes widen and his beak drops. Seriously? That's big news. And here I thought the kid was just an idiot. You better not be yanking my chain, pal. Absolutely not. I heard it from Luffy's own mouth himself. Wow, are you serious? I have to write this up. A big scoop like this is more than just a big scoop. This could rock the world's delicate balance on its foundations. I gotta get on this now. What's my reward for this information? Reward? Right. Well, usually when people give me news like this, there's something they want. So tell me now, what do you want for information like this? I'll tell you flat out if I can afford it or not. Give me just a large sum of money, like, like a large sum of berries, that'll do nicely. Heh, well that I can handle. Information like this is too juicy not to pay for. But, I've got a question for you first. How'd you hear about this? I'm interested in how you came to know such intimate details. He was talking with Luffy himself. This, I, I went to their ship and I had a conversation with them. Really? So you're just that close to the Straw Hat crew? Interesting... And you can really confirm the details of this conversation? That it will definitely bring in lots of sales, quote. Absolutely. I would never lie about, about big news like this. Not to such a distinguished individual as yourself. Good. It's, it's nice to be able to trust someone these days, especially after what the Marines tried to pull a while back. You'll have your share in no time as soon as the paper's been released, end quote. What happened with the Marines recently? Those scoundrels tried to block the truth from the world. With the whole reverie ordeal, that is. 
Yeah, I think I heard something about that. I know they do that a lot. Is there a specific detail of the Breviary that you uh, got the most mad that they tried to cover up? What most pisses me off is that they tried to cover up those big shot nobles trying to kill Princess Vivi. Can you believe that? They try and hide that from the entire world. Idiots, the lot of them. No, that's crazy. Actually, now that I think about it, I came across, I, 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 I remember some very interesting information that I did not experience myself, because obviously I would not have access to the reverie. That would be crazy. But I heard from uh, connections within uh, the Marines, actually, that um, the uh, celestial dragons, that one of the celestial dragons was murdered. And that uh, Fujitora uh, freed all the prisoners, and he basically went against the Soul Dragons. I don't know if any of that is new information to you, but I thought it was interesting as well. Morgan's eyes widen once again. You're kidding me. One of those rich bastards was killed? Now that is a story, my friend. Where did you get this information? And how in the world do you know people who were in attendance at that party? Um, I happen to have an old buddy who, uh, used to be really motivated in the Marines, but lately has started really fucking hating his job, so I, so I've been paying him, uh, for, uh, bits of information I can, I can resell to, uh, people like yourself. Damn, that sounds like a good system you've got there, pal. You'd better watch out and make sure the Marines don't catch wind of ya. They'll probably want to eliminate a threat to their peaceful image. And honestly, I, I beat Luffy like four times, and he couldn't stop me from leaving with the information I just gave you. So I highly doubt any Marines could pose a threat to me because I'm just that powerful. Hmm, confident little bastard, ain't ya? I kind of like that in people. Keep on being cocky; it works well for the both of us. But I've got another question for you. Why share it just with me, you know? Why not tell other newspapers? To be honest, I've never really seen other newspapers uh, that weren't, like, island exclusive. I think yours is the only one that is so, like, distinguished and well, like, world-renowned, I guess, you know? So, it, to me, it was the obvious choice. Heh, <laughs> that's a fair assessment. No other newspapers can come uh, remotely close to what I've built. But I have to ask, why didn't you go to the nearest Marine base and sell it to them? I'd imagine they'd pay a pretty penny for this info, no? It's an interesting question. Uh, well, actually, it's a pretty easy answer. As, as uh, you had pointed out earlier, I mean, I did get this information from my Marine connection, so it would be extremely risky, to, I feel like, in my opinion, to go to the Marines with information that would only be supposed to be known to the Marines. Smart man. For a cocky bastard, you've got a good head on your shoulders. I like that. You'll go far if you keep on doing business with me, pal. I look forward to a uh, pleasant uh, future business deals. I hope you have a nice day. You as well. And do keep in touch if you find anything else like this. I could become quite prosperous with what else you have to offer. Definitely will. All right, that was a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um that's uh that that's uh that's interesting <laughs> that was a fun uh a fun continuation um now i do have nami on this uh character list so i think i'm i'm gonna try and talk with nami here uh and and see um and and see what happens uh just 
based on <laughs> the uh, the conversation that I had with Luffy, I think it's going to be uh, very, very entertaining. Hey, Nami, so um, Luffy told me some very interesting information. He said that you and him have a special bond that he's like your favorite on the crew and when I when we were talking about you you wouldn't stop watching I, it seems to imply to me that like there's a kind of like secret hidden romantic connection there what no 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 of course not that's silly I don't know why he would ever say such a thing there's not some secret romantic connection it's not like I like Luffy and Luffy likes me or anything stupid it's ridiculous Really? Because he was talking about how, like, you guys have all this history, and it went all the way back, and, um, and, oh, is that blushing I see on your cheeks? Gee, of course it is. It's just hot in here. And you guys must be remembering wrong. Luffy and I are friends, nothing more. There's no secret romantic connection in the past or the present, and certainly not the future. There's nothing, not a nilch. We're just friends. Okay, but that's interesting because, you know, when I woke up this morning, I thought that I could have sworn that I heard, like, I don't know, like, like a, like a rubber bouncing noise, and I could have sworn, I saw a glimpse of, uh, Luffy's hat that was, like, left around your bed area, and, oh, what was the other thing? I think I also heard that you and I also heard him, like, heard you two, like, laughing late in the night, kind of woke me up a couple of times, but, you know, I, I could be crazy, but I don't know. You're just imagining things, you silly goose. It's just Luffy being as annoying and loud as usual. So you just heard him going around the ship like an idiot bouncing around. He probably came into my room to ask me for something and knocked his hat around. And yeah, maybe we were up late talking together. That doesn't mean anything. Luffy and I are just friends. See, I know you really like money. I have to have a very large sum of berries here that I got from doing a job of baby Morgan. Uh, if I happen to... Uh, you know, for my little bit of a reward, would you be willing to be more open with some information, possibly? Huh, more money, you say? That certainly does sound interesting. Tell me, how much are we talking? I would say be willing to give out five, ten million berries. How does that sound? 10 million berries, you say? Hmm. I would have to be pretty damn special to get a reward like that. But 10 million berries is 10 million berries, Nami said, blushing. Fine, I'll answer your questions. So are you and Luffy actually in a relationship? You know, like I said, Luffy and I are just friends. Very close friends, but not lovers or anything of that sort. I don't feel like you're telling the truth. I could up it to 20 million. 20 million, you say? Nami's cheeks started turning slightly more red. Why are you so desperate to know the answer to this anyway? I'm just really curious. I just really like, you know, digging in, getting to know people really well. Nami chuckled in disbelief. Really? You like me and just want to know me better? You expect me to believe that? No, fair enough. Bye. Wait, Nami said, reaching to grab your arm. Okay, I'll come clean. Yes. Luffy and I have a special connection, and it isn't just friends type of special. We're pretty happy together, even though it's not necessarily official. 
God, I did not think anything would happen. If I fucking just laughed. <laughs> I think that would happen. I was just prepared to end the conversation right there. Very, very interesting. How long has this been going on? Did the rest of the crew know? Only about a year. And yes, the rest of the crew knows and is fine with it. We didn't have to keep it secret. We just like keeping it a little bit private. That's interesting, because when I talked to the Luffy brother, he seemed to imply that the rest of the crew did not know about it. So are you sure you're telling me the truth? You only up it to uh, 25 million? Luffy can lie sometimes because he thinks it's funny. The rest of the crew has definitely known for a while now and has accepted it. It's really not a big deal, okay? Nami said. She was a little annoyed now. And no, you don't need to give me more money. Okay then, thank you for answering my questions. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Nami mumbled, watching you walk off, stupid weirdo. Okay. Okay. This, this right here, <laughs> I did not expect legit. I did not expect anything like this to happen at all. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, that that is absolutely hilarious. Oh man. Oh, this is this is actually a lot of fun. I, I was not expecting this to be this funny. Okay. Um okay. I feel like that's probably uh all the fun that I can get out of the out of um I, I want to do a uh, character from a different uh, anime now. Um, I'm going to try Saitama. Yo, Saitama, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Just kicking back and relaxing. You? Pretty good myself. Um, just chilling as well. Hey, listen. What if I told you that I uh, I work in a grocery store and uh, I can get you a really good discount on uh, some groceries? Really? What kind of discount? It would help me save some dough. Honestly, like my employee discounts are really, really good. They're probably like seventy-five, eighty percent. How's that sound to you? 80%? I always hated going to the grocery store and having to spend a ton of money to buy a month's worth of groceries. If you could swing me a discount like that, we could be great friends. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, no problem. Um, you just, you just gotta let me live with you rent free and I'll, and I'll keep, uh, and I'll keep letting you do that. Wait, you're just using me for my apartment? You better not be lying to me about that 80% discount. I am definitely not. Then it sounds like a deal, man. You had me worried for a second there. So, Tom, I'm an honest guy. I would never lie about that. You better not. Or else I'll have to give you a good old serious punch. Oh, please don't. Please, please, please do not. I swear, I'm not lying. Um, I'm not lying, I swear. Please do not do that. I'll be the judge of that. How much is my typical groceries going to be cut down in price? Well, uh, for that, I'm not, well, I mean, I don't know, because how much do you typically spend on groceries? It's about 500 a month. 
not counting any special occasions where I feel like cooking something extravagant. Okay, let me just uh, do some calculations real quick. All right, I'll wait patiently. Yes, I am actually doing this um, uh, conversion because I'm uh, I, I'm curious. Uh, looks like it would bring you down to one fifty a month. One hundred and fifty a month? That's literally a third of what I normally have to pay. You sure you're not lying this time? My math might be a little off. I was never too great at that, but I it should be somewhere around there, maybe like 175 or something like that. That is insanely low. If you can make that a reality, I'd be more than happy to let you crash at my place. Very cool. Uh, I will, next time I go to the grocery store, I will uh, prove it to you myself. Have a good day, bro. I'll hold you to that. See you soon, bud. All right, that was that, that was a pretty simple one, but uh, <laughs> I, I I I like that. I like that. That was fun. Um, let's see. I'll try Thorfinn next. Uh, that'll be that'll be kind of uh interesting. Yo, Thorfinn, how you doing today, bro? Looks up at you annoyed. Why are you talking to me? I don't know. I'm bored. Wonder. You look like an interesting person to talk to. Yeah, whatever. Well, in any case, I got a question for you. So I know you said you, like, don't have any enemies, but, like, what if someone's trying to kill you? What would you do then? Would you, like, try and defend yourself? Hmm, that's a good question. Depending on who's trying to kill me, the situation of how many there are, and my condition at the time of attempted murder. If it's a one-on-one, -on -one, then yeah, he'll probably fight back. But if I'm outnumbered, he'll probably run until I can think of a good strategy. I am a pretty fast runner, champ. I thought that kind of went against your, your thing of, like, I have no enemies and whatnot, fighting back and such, or being attacked, like, I guess, being an exception since you want to save your own life. Yeah, pretty much. I don't want to die by the hands of some lowlife trying to gain glory. But, Jim, I guess I see what you mean. Very interesting. Um... So, do you think then, do you, like, because you say you have no enemies, like, does that mean that you tend to look down on people that have enemies that, like, are fighting out of revenge since you used to, since you had to struggle with that yourself, or do you kind of feel empathy for them? I'm curious on, like, your opinion on that. You ask a lot of questions. But I don't really feel anything when it comes to revenge-fueled hatred. I don't think of those people as any lesser than myself. I just think we all deal with our circumstances differently. Thus, some people are just too hung up on their past while I just... move on. But I don't feel empathy for anyone, nor do I care about them. They're not even worth it. You know what, I, I do ask a lot of questions, so I'm sorry about that if that's annoying, but here, you, you can ask me any question you want. Hmm, I don't have any questions for you. You just seem to be talking for the sake of talking. You're too friendly. Is there a problem? 
speech friendly? I, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think I'm talking to just be talking. I just like to have interesting conversations. It gets annoying, especially if you're talking to me. All right, then. I will fuck off. Have a great day. Looks at you dumbfounded. Hmm? Goodbye, then. I, I gotta admit, um, uh, that was not the kind of, uh, Thorfinn conversation I expected to have. Um, I, I honestly kind of thought it would be a little bit more, you know, like, season two happy Thorfinn type thing, but <laughs> that was just kind of like funny in its own way um, of things. Um, so, <laughs> um, okay. Hmm. Let me see. I think, um, I think I'm gonna do Bakugo next. I think that would be funny. This is 204 million. Yeah. Yo, Bakugo, how you doing, bro? Who the hell are you? Why the aggression? I'm just trying to have a conversation. He grumbles fine. I'm not terrible. How are you? I'm doing fine, but I think you, uh, you look a little more square. Yeah? And what makes you say that? I don't know. I heard Deku's been having a lot of success recently. You lose him in a training bout or something? Don't mention that nerd's name. That guy got lucky. He won't be so lucky when we're both pro heroes. Really? Because I talked to Deku and he said that, like, he, he beats you every single training match that you have. Shut up. He's exaggerating. He's probably just saying that because he knows it gets on my nerves. Oh, but you said exaggerating, but not lying. There is a difference. So does that mean that he has beaten you before, even if it's not nearly as many as uh, I might have heard? It's only happened a few times, that's all. Nothing to be overly concerned about. Really? Because I thought that you got really mad whenever it happened, like, even one time. But, like, a couple times. That's, that's kind of crazy. I mean, I'm sure you're strong, but that kind of just makes me doubt your strength a little bit if you're, like, can't beat that weakling Deku, like, every single time. He bristles a little, like you could do any better. You know what? I think I could. What do you say to that? Oh, you think you can take me on, huh? Bring it then, chump. I proceed to absolutely destroy him with minimal effort. Katsuki is left dazed and confused. What the hell? That's all, really? I was really expecting more. Katsuki scowls, I'm off my game, that's all. You're off your game, huh? That's crazy. What what could be causing that? Talk to me. Let's let's have a conversation about it. He grumbles and glances away. I don't know. I guess I've just been feeling more frustrated lately. Hmm. Yeah. Because I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not that strong personally. Like I I don't think I could beat Deku in a fight. But you know, I mean, I beat you so easily. So like, 
man, like, what's been going on? Must be something really bad for, like, me to be able to be used so easily. Shut up. I know you beat me. You don't have to keep saying it, he glares. Well, I want to know, like, what's, been, what's going on with him? Look, I already told you I'm just frustrated, all right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. What are you frustrated about? He glances around Deku who's been getting too damn successful for his own good, and I guess it's really pissing me off. I don't think Deku is a particularly cocky one, though. He's not cocky, but he's too cheerful, and he's so damn determined and hardworking. It's annoying, and lately, people have been comparing us a lot. I mean, you know. I, I could see how that could happen if you were so easily defeated. Shut up. You already said you won. You don't need to keep rubbing it in. And what are you going to do if I, if I would? He glares, I'll punch you through a wall if you don't. Shut up. I only doubt that since I defeated you so easily. That was a fluke. Don't get used to winning so easily because it definitely won't happen next time. I am willing to bet otherwise. Katsuki growls annoyed. You're getting on my nerves, you know that, right? Oh, I'm well aware, but I like to see what you do about it. Hacha. There, it's a flash of irritation in his eyes as you call him Kachan. Stop calling me that. Only Deku does that, and you're seriously pissing me off now. Come on, Kachan, let's see what you can do. He bristles you. We're really asking for it, you know that? Let's go, let's go, bro. Let's go. He grits his teeth. You sure you want to do this, chump? Oh, yeah. I mean, I defeated you so easily last time. Who said I couldn't do it again? He scowls like I said. That was a fluke. Oh, really? Then let, let, let's, let's see you defeat me this time. I'm going to wipe that grin off your stupid face. Just you wait. I'm not holding back this time. I then proceed to absolutely destroy him with minimal effort again. Katsuki is lying on the ground, groaning in pain. Damn you. How are you this strong? Hey, I, I'm nowhere near this strong. Like I said, can't, I can't come close to being Deku in a fight, so I, I'm really not that strong. I, I just think that you're that pathetically weak, really. He scowls and sits up. I'm not weak, I'm just off my game. You said that the first time. You gotta come up with better excuses, dude. He scoffs. And what if I don't? You gonna just beat me up again, huh? I mean, no, because that would just be pathetic on my part. Like, why would I beat up weaklings? That, that doesn't make any sense. Fine. If you don't want a rematch, what do you want then? You know, I don't really know. I think I think it's just uh just fun to have a good conversation with you. If you think this is a good conversation, then you need better standards. Mm, maybe I do. Have a good day. Katsuki growls and gets to his feet. Not so fast. I'm not done talking to you. Oh, what do you want to talk about? You seriously beat me twice without breaking a sweat. I want to know why. I don't know. I just, um... Just trained a lot, I guess. Training is one thing, but it still doesn't explain how you are so much stronger, even after only training for... Well, how long have you been training, anyway? 
Oh, you know, now that I think about it, that, that might actually be the reason why I've been training for, I think, about um, 30 years. 30 years? And you are still this strong after only training for that long? That's impossible. Yeah, um, you know, actually, speaking of using your terminology off my game, I have been uh, off my game recently. I have a, I've, I've slacked off in training in about the past uh, five years. It's just because I've like settled down, got my family, et cetera, like that. So I haven't been training nearly as much. So I'm not nearly as strong as my prime used to be. He's a bit shocked by this revelation. You're saying you've gotten weaker now and you still kicked my ass twice? How is that even possible? Because you're weak? Shut up! I'm not weak, you're just stupidly strong for some reason. That's a pathetic excuse. You say that to every single person that beats your ass? He growls, just you. But I swear, I'm gonna get stronger. And then next time we fight, I'll kick your ass. Alright, I'd like to see it. Oh, you will. Just wait and see. I'll prove I'm stronger than you. Looking forward to it, Hachan. He scowls at the nickname. Stop calling me that. Hachan, Kachan, Kachan. He growls angrily. What is your problem? Do you like pissing me off or something? A little bit. Your reactions are kind of funny. Kotsky is getting more aggravated. You're just enjoying this, aren't you? Mm, maybe a little. He scowls. Damn it, you are seriously pissing me off, you know that? What are you going to do about it, Kachan? He glares at you and grits his teeth. One of these days, I'm going to wipe that stupid grin off your face. I'm going to beat you, one way or another. Just wait. Good luck with that, Kachan. Have a great day. Later. He grumbles angrily under his breath as you walk away. Damn you. That, that, okay, that, that is definitely, <laughs> is absolutely the easiest one to scroll so far out of this entire video. Um, uh, right now, uh, recording for me is at about 58 minutes. I think I'm going to cap it there. Um, obviously, as you saw, I had a huge list of characters. Uh, this was really fun. I would definitely be open to doing a part two, potentially, um, because I, I honestly had a lot more fun than I expected to do this. I didn't really know how this would go, but it was actually a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, if you want to see a part two, then just uh, let me know uh, what characters that you would want to see. Um... And uh, yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.